In this episode of Free Range Sailing what we're going to talk about is our self-steering system and what we use is a hybrid system, a combination of a telepilot and a wind vane. Now a telepilot, if you don't know, now this is a Simrad TP10 and if you want more information there is a link in the description. So normally what will happen is this end will connect by this little pin onto your boat and then this end will come out, moves by a little motor in here and operates the tiller. Pretty easy, very common. They don't do good, they don't do well when conditions get very blustery, very strong, um, when the boat's overloaded, that they can fail, they can overload. All right. Wind vanes, they don't do so good when the wind gets very light, uh, particularly in a following conditions and following sea, wind behind you, or when the wind dies out entirely, then they're no good at all. But by combining both systems into one, we can take advantage of both of their strengths and eliminate their weaknesses. So if you'd like to check out this video, it's how we've done it here on Marul, and hopefully it gives you an idea how it can be done on your boat. Now this recording's coming to you from Gove in the far north of Australia um, and we don't have many re resources available to us. So I'm going to show you how we do it just with almost basic bush resources. But if you're back in civilization with access to a boatyard, you can take the principle that I'm showing here and just fancy it up however your boat merits. All right, because being boat proud is a good thing. So what I've got is actually a bit of bamboo right? and a couple of hose clamps and you'll be like this guy is as dodgy as hell but I'll show you that this is actually going to be quite effective. So what we'll do is we'll go and put everything in place, um, we'll test all the heights and just make sure that I'm happy with the distances um, of everything and you'll, you'll see what, what I mean very very soon there. Now before we conduct all our checks I looked in the instructions and it said that the distance from here, this point, and mid stroke to here, okay, the middle of the stroke of this thing, it comes out to there and into there, so I want it in the middle. That is a distance of 595 millimetres. Don't ask me what it is in inches. So I've pushed it out to that, and now we're just going to go measure up everything, and I just want to make sure everything lines up at the mid stroke of this where we do our installation. Now the first step was to create an attachment point for the inboard end of the tiller pilot using this bit of bamboo. Next I attached the pin that would normally go in the tiller to the counterweight. Now with the tiller pilot in the mid stroke neutral position and the wind vane itself in the upright neutral position we can see that everything just fits together just nicely. Now a minor detail was just adjusting the tiller pilot so it was horizontal and I was just using the horizon for that. But much more important is getting the tiller pilot at 90 degrees to the axis of the wind vane itself. You can see that the, the forces on that thing are going to be minimal, the wear, everything else like that. So it is going to make your investment last a bit longer. A $1,500 um, autopilot, if you've got a wind vane, will drive. 45, 50, whatever size boat really, if your wind vane is properly sized for your yacht, you can automate that thing on the cheap. So we're here to save you money at free range sailing. All right, so we're having a test run now. It's doing fine on auto. If I take it off autopilot now um, and just have it in standby, then I can adjust and make it steer and select new direction and everything else like that without grabbing hold of the tiller. Let's have a look. So there we go, we can see it's a very small adjustment, like it moves quite a bit here, but it's only small there. If I did keep going, the skull's legs in the way, but you can see now the boat is doing a... A turn. That's a pretty decent turn. It's not an emergency turn, okay? Mm. If I grabbed a hold of that tiller manually and just wah, wrenched it, it'd be a, a different story. Yep. I'm going to boost the sensitivity. Um, and the movement, so I'm going to change the sea state in the settings of the machine, so this is just factory at the moment. Um, and what that will do is just make the movements earlier and larger because it is, it's working through, and I'm going to do that because it is working through that mechanism and then there's a bit of a delay because it has to go through the pulleys and everything. But 
we've just selected our auto course and she's settled onto it now. So that's fine. Everything's vibrating a bit at the moment because of the wash from the propeller and, and the, there's a diesel running. But our next test will be under sail. But I do want to calibrate the compass first and I do want to get those settings so it reacts quicker. So that when we've got our beautiful spinnaker there, it's not going to collapse it and, and ruin our day. Yeah. Now we were very happy with the results of the test under power, but the next one was a bit more challenging. Very light winds and under spinnaker. There was hardly a breeze and it definitely wouldn't work with a normal wind vane. And now during this test I wanted to demonstrate another method for you in case the direct connection doesn't work out. That you can actually connect the tiller pilot to the wind vane by cord. Um, because cord doesn't have any rigidity, then you have to use a bit of shock cord on the other side of the fulcrum so you've got two forces pulling against each other and you can see that in action now. Here's another quick GPS shot and it's showing that we are tracking a nice straight line in these difficult conditions and we're just hovering around the four knot mark. Okay, this is stronger winds, a wing on wing sail set, and we're back to the direct connection now. Is the steering working? The steering's working, but what happens with an electronic autopilot, it averages all of the corrections either way, and then slowly reduces the error until it's steering. So in a very rudimentary sense, it learns. So when you're doing something like this, as soon as you make a bit of a change to the balance of the boat, the autopilot goes, what? So it has to relearn again. See how it's settled in now? Yeah. So, yeah, basically that's what it's doing in its little uh, basic brain. It's adding up all of the corrections, taking the average and trying to find that medium path. Like the Buddha. Okay, so I hope you found that useful. Um, the tiller pilot that we use is the Simrad TB10. I'm pretty happy with it. We've put a link in the description to this video if you'd like to know more about the product itself and have a bit of a look at it. Um, if you do end up purchasing it and you do click that link, we get a little bit of a kickback. There's a bit of disclosure for you. Um, all right, enjoy your time out in the water. Okay, thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, please click the like button and that makes it more likely that YouTube will recommend this to other viewers. And also head on over to the comments section, drop us a line because we really value your feedback.